Hey everyone, let me show you how I make my Jamaican cornmeal pudding and I'm going to give you some simple step-by-step -step instructions that you can follow yourself. So first things first, we're going to get our ingredients. We need some all-purpose flour and some cornmeal, of course, the star of the show. Next, we're going to get some coconut milk and some brown sugar. You're also going to need a large pot and a sieve which is going to go over a separate bowl to combine some of our dry ingredients so let's go ahead and measure our, out our flour and also our cornmeal and go ahead and sift those together so all of the ingredients and the measurements are listed in the caption below so go ahead and keep sifting the flour and the cornmeal next you're going to add in your cinnamon and then I've used fresh nutmeg here. If you don't have fresh nutmeg, you could use pre-ground nutmeg if that's what you have on hand. So I'm just using a microplane here to grate that in. Next, I'm going to add in a little bit of salt and then mix all those ingredients together until they're combined. So next, you're going to get some raisins. And if you like raisins, add them. If you don't, then leave them out. It's completely optional. So we're going to go ahead and measure those into a small bowl and then we are going to help pump them up with some rum. So I have some coconut rum here and you can go ahead and add as much or as little as you like just to ensure that they are completely covered with the rum. And we are going to go ahead and wait for those. Next you're going to take your pot over low heat and you are going to add your butter, your coconut milk, your brown sugar and your vanilla. So what I have found with this recipe is some recipes call for cooking the pudding over the stove. Some call for mixing it all into a bowl completely and then baking it. But what I find is that having this liquid mixture warm helps to combine everything really nicely together. So notice that the stove is over low heat. We do not want this to boil whatsoever. Just melt everything together. Next, you're going to take a springform pan and some nonstick spray and checking on our mixture. Once it's nice and warm and everything's combined, you are going to add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients and we are going to go ahead and mix that all together. Next, we're going to take the liquid that our raisins were soaking in the rum. Do not waste that. Pour that into your pudding. Sprinkle some flour over your raisins. So we're going to go ahead and add our raisins into our mixture and then just stir to combine. And then we are going to pour that mixture directly into our springform pan. Next, we are going to place this into the oven in the middle rack and allow it to bake for about 45 minutes. While that's baking, we're going to go ahead and make our soft top. So that's made by combining coconut milk, brown sugar, and also some cinnamon. And go ahead and mix that up. I like to make extra so that I have some for the side. So we're going to check on our pudding now. And it's looking really nice and golden. Go ahead and pour that soft top mixture directly on top of your pudding. Once you've done that, you are going to put it back into the oven and continue to bake it. When it comes out, this is what it's going to look like. I mean... Doesn't it look delicious? <laughs> I think so. I'm very excited about it, as you can tell. So then you are going to wait for it to cool. This is the worst part. You have to wait, and I'm talking like you have to wait and be patient hours for this to cool before you try to do anything with it. So once it's cooled for a few hours, you're going to remove the springform pan, and this is what you are going to have, a beautiful cornmeal pudding with a nice soft top. So next we are going to slice in to our pudding. As you can see, I'm very excited. And when we cut it, this is what it looks like. I mean, to me, this is pudding perfection. It is nice and moist on the inside. It has a beautiful soft top and it is just, I know it's going to be delicious. So here I'm just trying to show off my pudding, how nice it looks. But I mean, really, this is really, really good pudding. 
So the only thing left to do is to plate our pudding and enjoy. I really hope you guys can try this recipe and I really, really hope that you enjoy it as much as I do too.